While it's not the most affordable Porsche, let alone SUV, in the luxury performance SUV market, the Cayenne has had the distinction of being one of the best you can buy, unless you needed cargo room, that is, thanks to its coupe-like design, it's always been engaging and balanced on the pavement, but also far more capable than it might appear to be off-road. It was, however, due for a refresh from the third generation's 2019 launch and, instead of taking a light pencil to the design, Porsche decided it was time to give the Cayenne a makeover before Stuttgart's eventual three-row SUV takes over as top dog. While that bigger SUV will allow more cargo and people inside, the driving dynamics of the Cayenne aren't on its radar. That's where we'll start this look at the 2024 refresh as it's part of the most extensive product upgrades in the history of Porsche according to its vice president for the Cayenne product line, Michael Schatzel. For all models under the Turbo GT, the Cayenne, S, and e-hybrid trims, the standard suspension will consist of a traditional steel spring combined with Porsche Active Suspension Management, PASM. We were able to experience this when Porsche invited us on a development drive of the 2024 KN. It's all very deliberately and highly controlled, like a dancer, the manner in which the weight settles on the outside wheels and the suspension crouches, takes a set, and eventually releases as you exit the turn we noted. Each KN does it the same way, so much so that the driver of a base model can easily keep up with the driver of a Turbo GT who isn't using enough throttle. Optionally and standard on the Turbo GT is a two-chamber adaptive air suspension system. This, combined with the two valve dampers, will give the new KN even more precision and differentiation between its normal, sport, and sport plus driving modes. Again, we were able to experience how the Turbo GT offered a tightened up version of the lesser performance models. There will also be an optional lightweight sport package that will remove up to 72 pounds from the KN, making it even more planted and sure-footed. Other standard equipment for the 2024 KN Turbo GT include the Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control, PDCC, Porsche Ceramic Composite Brakes, Rear Axle Steering, and 22-inch GT design wheels with high-performance tires. When we drove the prototype, it wore a set of Pirelli Corsa tires while lower models were on a set of Nexon M Fira Sport SUV tires. With this being more than just a mere mid-cycle refresh, the exterior of the KN looks familiar and yet different at the same time. The 2024 model comes with a newly designed front end that has more aggressive-looking fenders, a new hood design and redesigned headlights that really match the stance of the KN. Out back, we see a new set of three-dimensional tail lights and a new fascia, which unclutters the rear end while also integrating the license plate holder. 